guys welcome back to my channel happy thanksgiving this is the day after thanksgiving um today's video is going to be the review of rihanna's new liquid lipstick the stunner paint lip paint is that what wait <laughs> hold on let me make sure i'm saying the right thing okay so it's going to be okay so this whole thing is the stunner lip paint okay but the shade that came out yesterday is the red shade in uncensored yes that's what I was trying to say so um, the whole line of liquid lipsticks is called stunner lip paint because I believe and have faith that she's gonna be coming out with more shades in the stunner lip paint and then she's gonna call them different names again this is uncensored I picked mine up yesterday at the Sephora and JCPenney at 2 o'clock on the dot <laughs> it was easy doing it but the line getting in there was intimidating um so i'm just going to read you a few specs of what this lip paint is supposed to do how long it wears etc okay so according to sephora this is a weightless 12 hour liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish born in one head turning red shade that looks incredible on all skin tones so i haven't tried this on on my lips yet this is probably going to be the shortest review ever of my existence um, when I went to the store yesterday, I swatched the sample on my arm and I showed it on Snapchat. So I'm going to go ahead and um, swatch this for you guys and then do the review at the end. But just looking at it, um, I really like the packaging. It looks like a lip, I mean, nail polish type feel. And um, it has the name of the lipstick underneath. But I'm trying to read how much is in here but when I find out I'll put it right here for you guys um, but when I open it in the store I can tell y'all that the doe foot applicator is different it's not something we've seen before like our regular ones um, I'll see if I can put a better video for you guys so you can see um, what it's looking like so this is an orange base red however it's not all the way orange in my opinion when I swatched it on my hand it's like almost at the beginning of the blue red spectrum so like at the start of it but it's not all the way blue red so um, this retails for $24 which I think is reasonable um, it's up there with a lot of liquid lipsticks in Sephora um, and it is still available online at Fenty Sephora JCPenney and in stores so I don't think this will sell soon I was hoping that she would restock the foundation in 450 which is what I'm wearing today I'm wearing my sample and my sample is running dry but I'm gonna keep praying that she comes out with you know restock so I can get the 450 so I can have both but anyways let me go ahead and swatch this for y'all and we can figure out if we like it and what we think towards the end formula texture etc and then towards the end of the video I'm gonna be doing a full detailed arm swatch of other reds that I have a lot of people want to know if this is comparable to cherry blossom I can tell y'all already that it's not on the same level as far as shade cherry blossom is a deep blue based red and like I explained this is not a blue based red but it's, it starts at the spectrum of the blue based red so I will do an arm swatch towards the end of all the reds that I have and again this is another red that I'm adding to my collection if you don't like reds this will not be your cup of tea um, this is probably my 15th or 20th red but I'm not gonna be swatching everything um, I love red so this is right up my alley so let me go ahead and swatch it and I'll let you guys know what I think and we can figure it out together I'll be right back
Rihanna, you did that. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the review section of this video. This lipstick is beautiful. Okay, so three things. Three things. It feels very, very lightweight. The formula is kind of runny, but that's not a bad thing. There's a lot of companies out there with like a not too thick consistency. So they have like, it has like a liquidy consistency. The instruction tells you to, to shake it before you apply. So everything, it, it's kind of like the formula of her foundation. You know how it's liquidy. So it's, it's like that. And then the third thing is it's, like I said, it's on the beginning of the blue-red spectrum. I feel like it makes my lip look bigger. But y'all probably think I'm crazy, but I know what I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't feel like you have anything on. It's very lightweight. If I wasn't looking in the viewfinder, I honestly don't feel like I have anything on. And one swipe is literally all you need to make one layer. You literally don't have to dip 5,000 times. I got the color payoff in one go and I was very surprised, but you know me, I'm extra. I did it again. So I got two layers on and I just touched up here and there. The doe foot applicator, like I said, is something that we've not seen before, but for me, it was kind of awkward applying my lipstick with something not long and just stubby, you know what I mean? but it's supposed to give you precision so you can control your edges literally and it worked like i didn't use a lip liner y'all know i don't use a lip liner the only other thing is it's not very matte so if you do a kiss test you still get something back but it's 24 hours and it's no it is 12 hours and it's long wearing I don't know if you guys can see it's on my teeth as well however it makes your teeth look extra white you know what I'm saying so you did that Rihanna I give this a 9 out of 10 only because it transfers a little it is called a fluid lip hold on let me see on the packaging it tells you that it's a fluid lip color and it doesn't say if it's completely matte so I'm gonna have to do my research before uploading this video okay so on the side of the box it says that it is one stroke intensity which is literally what I just said one stroke did the trick and it is a 12 hour matte wear so it is matte but like I said the kiss test you can still you still get some color off on the back of my hand and you can see it in my teeth so for me it's not maybe 95% matte the 5% is what we see back here again the formula is very lightweight it doesn't crust my favorite part is when I smack my lips together I don't lose anything I remember reading my comment section and people be telling me just don't smack your lips together First of all, you cannot tell me what to do. Second of all, if I want to smack my lips, I'm going to smack my lips, okay? If you're a good lipstick and I'm smacking my lips, you shouldn't transfer. That's what I've been trying to say out here in these streets and nobody listening. You know what I'm saying? People talking about don't smack your lips. But I can smack my lips right now and nothing gets lost as it should. Even though it's not 100% matte. Like I said, I give it 95% matte. Well, I really love the fact that you don't feel like you have anything on. It doesn't suck the life out of your lips like other liquid lipsticks do. It's just very lightweight. And I, I can't stress that enough. I'm only hoping to God that she can come out with other shades that we can love. Typically, I'm not an orange-based red, but this works for me. You know, it's like, you can see on the camera it comes off orangey, but I was very worried that it'll look like um, some of the orange-red shades that I have that I don't like. But this one is actually doable. So overall, like I said, I, I will give this a 9 out of 10 only because I feel like it's 95% matte and it's not all the way drying. But it's okay. Not every day matte suck the life out of your lips, you know. But I feel like if I drink something out of my glass, it might transfer. So let's do that right now. It did transfer a little bit. On my wine glass so again 95% matte it's not a hundred percent matte 
or if I were to drink out of my water bottle, it'll stain it. I can guarantee it will. I've been smacking my lips in disbelief because it's not taking anything off the bottom. So um, overall, I would recommend this. It's very comfortable. Like I said, it's like a soft, so even when you're putting it on your lips, you don't feel like there's anything on there. It's so soft and very lightweight and it's not clumpy. And I did about two to three layers, even though you didn't, you don't need that much, maybe two and a half layers. Um, all you need is maybe one layer or two, depending on how much you want it to pop. And y'all know I like mine to pop, okay? So overall, I like this a lot. It is very soft on the lips. Again, when I'm smacking my lips together, I don't feel like it's crumbling. Talking to y'all, but I'm looking at the viewfinder, I don't feel like I have anything on. And I really like that, because it's supposed to be fluid, okay? So, and again, you're supposed to shake it. So if you got it as well, let me know what you guys think. Overall, I like it. It was well thought out. The packaging is sleek and sexy. It's not um, just your typical tube with a thing, you know. So it's definitely unique in its own and it stands out right there. So overall, I like it. I'm happy that I went through what I went through yesterday at JCPenney to get it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about this lip color. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.